Dear readers of Strat Magazine, my name is Niels Mönkemeyer, I'm a violist and currently in Rome having a concert tonight, but until then I wanted to share a few insights on how to practice Barta Concerto for Viola and I'm just doing the third movement for myself and something I noticed with all my students in Munich and with myself on stage is that um, the independence from left and right hand is very difficult to maintain and that especially the, the vibrato often gets affected and then um, all the phrases don't have the beauty that they could have. So um, let's say for example the third entrance of the viola in the first movement um, is a classic example for that. that um, if we just vibrate without the bow and we concentrate on, on the sound we want to hear, usually it's very flexible and the hand is very soft. And then the moment the bow comes in, the vibrato changes. And um, so I usually practice the, um, the passages without my left hand, uh, without my right hand, and, but I sing it inside. And I just notice that, for example, when I have the shift and then I put the third finger for the that immediately my third finger is very relaxed for having the vibrato and the rest of the hand too. And then we also vibrate with the thumb when we have the vibrato so it's not getting stuck. And then I do that until I really feel that the whole hand is just relaxed and I trust that I find the note. And then I do it again with the bow. And then again without end. So that it's really getting as good as it can. Um, another thing is like when you have uh, scales, for instance, and you do them with vibrato so that, for example, you can do things like start with almost no vibrato but forte in the bow, do a diminuendo but a crescendo, like a more vibrato towards the end, so that the note, uh, that the fingers become more independent to the bow. For <laughs> Or um, often, if we just vibrate like that and we shake our bow like in some random movements, the vibrato is already um, becoming erratic. So that's something we can practice a lot. And then, if you have a really beautiful phrase to maintain, take care of that, and you will see it's much better afterwards. So good luck with practicing, and many greetings from Rome.